Every young girl needs love and romance. There's one thing she doesn't need. Mother. <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? I'm married. I know. Let you out of my sight for one moment. Well, hold on to me and we'll be home before you can say... I don't want to go. I was afraid of that. He has you under a spell, eh? Oh, these male witches are the worst kind. He's not a witch. What? He happens to be, if you'll excuse the expression, a normal mortal human being. Oh, well, then that's easy. I'll just have him trip over a rug and break an arm. Mother, you'll leave him alone. He's a dear, sweet, wonderful, perfectly marvelous man. Oh, my poor baby. He sounds simply horrible. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry, Samantha. I'll get you out of here. I'm not going. Really? How would you like to spend your wedding night with a bullfrog? <laughs> don't you understand? I'm happy with him. Don't talk to your mother like that. I'll tell you when you're happy. Yes. Oh, that's a good girl. Yes, she's Grandmama's good girl. Well, how are we doing? Did anyone ever tell you that this child is positively incredible? You tell her something and she never forgets it. Now watch. Tabitha, stay right there. Now, watch Grandma. <laughs> Who is the prettiest little lady in the whole wide world? Grandmama. <laughs> I believe in telling a child the absolute truth. <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you that you are impossibly endearing? Now you run along and have a nice lunch with what's-his-name. <laughs> oh, I'm not having lunch with what's-his-name. You're not? No, I'm having lunch with Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Thought of that 30 minutes ago. How about this one? Oh, Samantha, it's dull. You've grown so conservative. Well, it's reduced from $12.95 to $6.99. That's a saving of $5.96. And so what? <laughs> so what? I can enjoy another mortal pleasure. When you've saved enough on bargains, you're entitled to splurge. Now that's really fun. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'll never make it. Make what? Oh, I have a fitting upstairs this afternoon. And I can't do that in the marketing, too. And the chops are on special. I'd love to help you, Samantha. Chops. But your haggling just doesn't appeal to me. But I could fill in on the dress fitting, though. You don't mean I do. Mother, you wouldn't. I, I mean, you couldn't, not here in front of all these people. Ah, oh, you know how subtle I can be. Stiglum, staglum, sticks. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> I think my voice has changed. <clears throat> Not even your dressmaker will know for sure. Is that better? Much. Where do I go? Fourth floor. This is for you, darling. I brought it from Paris. Fighting headwinds all the way. It's a wedding present. Whose? Yours, of course, darling. Belated but sincere. <laughs> Let's see how it looks on. Oh, it's cute. Oh, where do you see the rest of them? I brought a dozen. Mother. <laughs> Honey, I'm on. Oh, back in the box. <gasps> oh, the stars. See what happens when you get out of training. A snowstorm? Why, it's so warm and balmy here, we were going to have dinner on the patio. Honey, I don't care what the weather's like down there. I'm trying to tell you what it's like up here. Boston's been hit by a freak snowstorm. Oh? A freak snowstorm. <laughs> I give wishes they're really spectacular. And all the flights are canceled. Hmm? Oh, no, honey, I'm all right. I have a room right here at the hotel. Yes, yeah, the same one where they had the banquet. Yeah, it's pretty full because of the convention, but I managed to get a room. Now, don't worry. I'm perfectly all right. I'll see you uh, as soon as I can get a plane out of here.
All right, sweetheart. Bye-bye. <sighs> well, you want to stay for dinner? What are we eating? Crow? <laughs> Samantha, what did you say the name of this establishment is? Mario's. Mario's? Hmm? I'm amazed. This is the best Italian food I've had this century. It is good. <laughs> mm. Just taste this veal marsala. Only on the condition that you taste the fettuccine. It's a deal. <laughs> Delicious. <clears throat> Superb. Thank you. Well, that's the last of them. I've tried every babysitter I know. I have a lunch date with Darren and a very important client who insists upon meeting everybody's wives. Well, if you really want to go out to lunch, why don't you toddle off? I'll stay here with Tabitha. Uh, no, Mother, I I'd better not. <laughs> Thank you for offering, though. What do you mean, you'd better not? You've never stayed with Tabitha before. Well, although this may come as a surprise, Samantha, I'm not a complete stranger to babies. You, as I recall, were once one yourself. <laughs> Don't you trust me, Samantha? Of course I do. Doesn't Dagwood trust me? <laughs> well, oh, that presumptuous mortal, refusing to let me babysit with my own flesh and blood. All right, Mother, all right. I'm sorry. Of course you can stay. Marvelous. Do tell Dorian. It's sure to ruin his lunch. It's Darian. Uh, Dorian. <laughs> Darren. And I'll do nothing of the kind. Now, Mother, promise me. No funny business. Which is on that. <laughs> I promise, Angel. What took you so long? I traveled the hard way. Well, did you go to the witch's council? No. I realized that an ectoplasmic interlocutory might be just what your father wants. So? So? I won't give it to him. Mother, that's just an alibi. For what? You yourself don't want an ectoplasmic interlocutory. Yes, I do. No, you don't. What difference does it make what I want when your father wants Miss Abigail Beechwood? <laughs> By the way, am I on Durwood's side of the bed or yours? Mine. Good. <laughs> Mother, Daddy doesn't want Abigail. Deep down, he knows that you are the only one for him. Hi, darling. Hello, honey. <laughs> What's the matter? Matter? No kiss? Oh, sorry, darling. <laughs> Sam, are you all right? Me? Of course. Why? I've had more passionate kisses from my father. What are you looking <laughs> Why did you do this? For a very good reason. Perhaps next year, Darwin won't treat Halloween so lightly. You mean you knew the spell all along? Take it off this minute. Give me one good reason why I should. He's my husband and I love him. Well, that's not good enough. Not this time. Not until this mortal has really learned his lesson. His lesson? You're just as bad as they are. At least they have an excuse, but I thought you knew better. What do you mean? For years, you've been complaining about how they make fun of witches. Oh, we're not like that, you said. We're nice, civilized people, you said. But, yeah. But now you're acting just like those ignorant people think a witch acts. You're behaving exactly like their stereotype witch. And you're doing it to the one person who was willing to believe we were different. Well, I'll say it once, and only once. I was wrong, Samantha. I'm sorry. <laughs>